What's up, what's up? It's uh, about 2 in the morning right now. Yeah, 2 in the morning. And, um, yeah. So, a couple good things, a couple of bad things. Um, I started a to-do list, which was mostly just finish up any stuff that I had left to do with school. Um, maybe do some scholarships, that sort of thing. And uh, clean my room. I was like vacuuming like a crazy son of a gun. I was all cleaning the crap out of this place. And um, started getting these emails from one of my teachers, my animation teacher. I apparently had not submitted my final animation fixes to the correct link. And so now I'm about to get screwed over pretty hard. So uh, tomorrow, after I wake up, I'm going to see if I can actually check in there and get it. But it looks like I'm not even going to be able to get in, which means I won't be able to do that. So always back up your files, kids. Uh, that's the lesson learned from today. I don't know. It'll be all right. But aside from that, I um, went over to a buddy's house, watched some anime, Daily Lives of Daily Lives of High School Boys. That was pretty fun, and uh, we just kind of hung out and ate bagel bites and crap. That was good time. Just me and him, pretty chill, relaxed. Um, I came home and started like reading comics and stuff. That was fun, but. Before I did that, I had gone out and was reading a book, um, 1984, George Orwell, that guy, I don't know, he seems like he might have been a big deal, I think he should be a big deal, but whatever, but I was reading this book, right, and so we have, we have this, um, we have this train track, right, that goes down and around, ew, I just stepped in something nasty, Ugh. Just wiped it on the cat. That's how we do it. Um, this train track, right, used to go down parallel to a main road and then curve off across the river. There's this really old bridge that's pretty burned down and dilapidated, if you know what I'm saying. Um, but they had taken off the railroad tracks. So now there's just this gravel pathway that goes down and then goes over a couple bridges and then goes to this main town area. And... Um, one of the bridges has some serious fire damage on it and the pathway like squelches itself, fences off half of the thing and then just opens up this stupidly tiny like three foot wide pathway that's right next to the edge but it's all fenced in, it's all super safe, you know guys. And like the rest of this huge like 30 foot, well 20 foot wide bridge is just like sitting there fenced in, no trespassing guys can't let you get hurt by breaking your ankle in between the wood, which is a valid concern. But I thought it was a stupid concern. I always have that issue when it comes to fences and safety and such, because I, my general mindset is that if I have the audacity to go over the fence and something that says don't go over this, I'm taking responsibility for it, which means like my own personal welfare. Um, I don't know. I think there's something to do with responsibility in that. But, so I went around the fence and was just kind of dorking around there. I was like, man, I'd like to read my book here, but uh, nah. So I went down and around, and so I climbed halfway up this, this bridge, and I just climbed up it. I'm right next to the river, right next to this biking path, and I had this guitar music playing from my phone. And I just sit down on one of the struts and I just start reading. And so I'm dangling like 10 feet above the ground. Nice and unsafe. Just the way I like it. And I read this book for straight up like an hour. And it was darn nice. It was very nice. And um, I enjoyed it. And then after that I went to a coffee shop. Read the book there too. And these dudes like. These dudes all came in. Like I'm just reading my book. Drinking some hot cocoa. You know me. And some people come in and this guy like finds a guitar on a wall and pulls it off and starts playing it and then this other dude comes in with a violin like he came into the building with a violin and he starts playing it with the guy who's playing the guitar and then some other homeboy struts up and grabs a djembe and starts bonka donking on it and so now there's this three piece set just playing music sitting at a coffee table and I'm like trying to read my book and I'm like what? 
is this legal? Can you, do they need a permit for this? And that was just darn funny. And then they were like, why are we at this table? Let's just go up on the stage. And they just went up on this stage and started playing their music. And it was pretty sweet. I uh, really enjoyed it. This Asian lady was dancing. It was just a really cool scene. I felt like I was in college. Oh, wait. So, yeah. That was my day. Darn good. Books and... Books and late finals. <sighs> so... Hope you had a great day. Hope you did something. Read a book. I don't know. Friggin' whatever. Um, yeah. I'm gonna go to sleep. Peace out, guys.